Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video I'm going to explain how to create a landing page using Elementor Pro. So uh, first of all a landing page is a web page created with a specific goal in mind to typically convert visitors into um, customers or leads. So how you do that is with forms or call to actions that it takes um, the, the traffic into an action, right? So you also add your services if you want or um, frequently asked questions as well, Cut, uh, reviews to create a trust, testimonials, la uh, latest projects and um, forms as well, right? So this is useful because if you do a, a campaign with Facebook ads, Google ads or any digital marketing campaign, you can drag the traffic into this landing page and the, uh, the, the main goal it will be just uh, create, getting customers and leads, right? Okay, so for that, what we need to do is just going through uh, the dashboard and WordPress. So we just go here, dashboard door, WordPress, right? And we go into the section is called templates for Elementor, right? So here, landing page, landing pages, okay? And then we're going to add add new. Okay. The good thing of Elementor, it has this library with a lot of templates already pre-built for different kind of business, right? And sectors that you can use, right? So this is um, handy because already, you know, if you if you are, for instance, in the luxury car business, if you are in the digital marketing, or if you are in a health and um, health and fitness right finance whatever so you can go click and just add your logo change the, the content right and use the same structure but it's as simple as as change pictures right and you already have your landing page ready to go right so let's gonna have a look what else will we have in here right so we can also use for finance um you know online courses uh, Pilates instructor, uh, well, it's quite a lot, which is good. I think already, um, we already have one here, which is uh, even for gym, right, or for real estate. So let's gonna get that one, right? And it's just simple as select the template and go to insert, right? Okay, it doesn't take oh, it doesn't take longer as you see here. So now. We are in this landing page, which is, you know, is perfect location, got a map, video, our agents, right? Take a closer look. Okay, so this is pretty good. So let's gonna do that one. Probably what we need to do is also add a contact form. Right, so first thing here in the logo, we can just remove that one, right? Or this one here, delete, and then add our uh, picture or logo, right? So we're going through here elements and then we just search for image, right? We drag this image in here, choose image, and then let's gonna add the logo. If you already have the logo here, otherwise you go to upload files and then you just um, upload your logo. I think I already have my logo, right? Okay, so just select the logo and add it. Okay, as you can see here, the logo is already there. I will normally put the link, link you use the custom URL, so you can go and, you know, select the, yeah, the homepage, or what I do is dynamic tags and then site URL. This is useful because it will take you to the homepage straight away, right? The style, let's gonna make that the size, so image, width, and then here you can adjust the size of the logo, right? So let's say, let's gonna go to the 70, right and the content i want that aligned to the left okay here we got the social media as well so we just go to the social media icons and then if you have your social media just add the link and then when someone click in the social media it will take you to it will take the to this, and then facebook twitter or instagram depends what you have in there. So pictures, edit the section. You can go and check the background if you want. So you just go here, style, background, change the color, change the color if you want to add a color 
or video if you want to add any video so you just go with the video link from youtube or vimeo and you just paste it here and pretty much it will be displaying the video right if we go back to the classic here you can change the picture if you want and it is that same for the title and all the content it can be added and the contact so here the contact us it, will, it can take to the contact us page if you have a contact us page otherwise i recommend probably in that one maybe we can create a section here right in this section instead to create our contact us phone you just go here at template and we're going to blocks and we can find the contact us so here in this drop down just going to contact okay and as you can see there's already contact us section pre-built which is pretty good right let's gonna get that one okay insert and it already pulled this contact us form right so we just need to uh, edit this contact us form so we just go here and then say contact form right probably instead of username we just say full name right and then here it pays all the full name right and then email and password we don't want password that's it and label we don't need labels we just make simple as full name your email if you want any more um items so you just go add item and then you can add all of these type um, of questions that um, for your form, right? So let's say we just number. If you want to put a phone number, so say phone number, right? Yep, sorry, and phone number or contact number, right? Okay. Uh, if you want to require, so you just go here. Is require email? Okay, I think it's fine, and this is fine as well. So the only thing, send a message, instead of send a message, say um, send or submit, right? And it will be much better. Actions after submission is collect the submissions, of course, collect. And then we just make sure that the email is going to be a email account, right? And then the subject here, you can change that to contact form, right? So therefore, when someone fill up the form, it will go through your email, right? With the information that you want. Here is just to form from email. It will be from my email. So info, right one. And then from it, okay, from name is the name that it is. You can change here for your business name. And that's it. With that, you have your contact us form section, right? In your landing page. And I think what we can do, if you go through the uh, edit section, advanced, and here's CSS ID, that's gonna add this contact. And then at the top, instead to send them to this contact us page, we can just go here, say the hash, contact, right? So that way, when someone click here, it will take to this section, right? It is useful, so we keep them in the same page. We don't want them to move around, right? Okay, so next thing is just go and make sure that the information that is in the landing page is according to what we need for your business, right? And that's it. The another thing I will be doing is just make sure that the site is responsive. So always here on this icon, responsive mode, it will be showing these three views, which is tablet and mobile are also desktop. So I'm just gonna check the tablet. It's looking good here. Okay, and I'm just gonna check the mobile. I think here the logo has to be at the center and probably a little bit bigger, right? And if you don't want to display any of these columns, so you go here, click, edit column, advance, and then responsive, and then hide all mobile. Depends what do you wanna hide, right? So I'm just gonna go for mobile, right? That way, for the mobile version, it's not only it's not displaying; it's just only the logo. We hide this column, right? And then here a little bit bigger, right? And it will be perfect, 100%. Of course, cool. 
So as you can see, this is a simple way to create your landing page using Elementor Pro, right? So now if you're running a Facebook or Google Ads or any campaign digital marketing, right? You drag them into this uh, landing page and the target is just to convert your traffic into leads or customers, right? Okay, um, just last thing, remember to go here and publish, right? So once it's published, okay, and then you can go and have a look. So just go and have a look. And this is, will be your landing page, right? Okay, so please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.